Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a new recipe that I saw that I really wanted to try. Last year I tried a new one for the holidays called gingerbread cheesecake and it was so yummy. I'm so glad I tried it. I'm gonna do it again this year, just not on this channel, but definitely making it for the holidays for us. And this one caught my eye as well. It is a gingerbread brownies. So I thought we would give that a try today. It looks like it's quick, just a couple of bowls, no mixer needed. Um, I've got the oven already pre preheating to 350. And in this bowl are two sticks of unsalted butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them started melting in the microwave while I mix up the dry ingredients. So grab an apron and let's go. So we got the butter melted. In this, I have measured out two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then to that, I need to add the spices. So first up is ginger and you need, a it says a tablespoon. And I need to get a knife. And I need to add ginger to my list of things to get. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now all I have is coarse so that's just gonna have to do. Okay, I'm just gonna mix the dry ingredients together. Kind of set that aside while we work on the wet. So to this butter, we're gonna add one and a half cups of light brown sugar that's been packed. I only have this light brown sugar in my house because my parents were here and she left it here in case I might need it for something. Normally I would just go ahead and use the dark brown sugar, but this recipe actually calls for molasses. So I don't want to use dark brown sugar with molasses on top of it. So I guess if all you have is the dark, then go ahead and use that and just omit the molasses, but we're gonna do it this way just because I have this on hand. And go ahead and use it, okay? All right, now first you have to combine the butter and the brown sugar and it says to stir well. I'm gonna go ahead and get this combined. Okay. And it says to mix in the eggs. It says two eggs at room temperature and these are our first two eggs from Jolene. So, those your first two. Hello there. It just looks like a regular egg, Bailey. Because it is just a regular egg. Bailey's what you wanted to see what that I'm looks saving like. the shells in this little pan. And then when I get several, I bake them in the oven. They devour them. And they crush them, them up and give them to the girls. They devour them. They do. They love them. The eggs. The vanilla. So you need one teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, look, the two egg yolks are two eyes. And then two tablespoons of molasses. Brand new jar. Oh, it smells so good. I love molasses and the way that smells. the molasses and the vanilla. So 
sorry for the noise having to do laundry at the same time and it's loud. And we're going to do away with the whisk. Oh, this smells so good. And then we're going to add in, stir in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. It says you're going to bake this in a nine by nine pan. It says to use parchment paper, but I'm just going to spray it with Baker's Joy. And then we're gonna bake it at 350. Willow, no, no. Willow, no, no. Get back. Bake it at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes until the edges are set and the center is not jiggly. I'm gonna use my nine by nine Raydun pan that my sister-in-law, Laura, bought for me. She knows that I love Raydun. And it bakes very evenly. Mm. <coughs> Hold your breath when you spray that stuff. It's very thick. It's not like a cake batter. But it smells really good. And I'm excited to try them. And then they're going to bake. And then once they're done baking, they will cool completely. And then you will dust the tops or the top with powdered sugar before you cut it and serve it. So this will be our dessert tonight. And if it's good, then I have a dessert for this holiday season, whether it's for parties, potlucks, or just to have here at home when family's in town and what have you. I wanna taste this. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Let's get it in the oven. Okay, so they're done. We baked them for just over 35 minutes. And I've already cut them and put powdered sugar on them. They're done all the way through, but they're not um, like cake, cakey in the middle. So they're nice and kind of gooey in the middle. So I'm just gonna try it first. Do you even like gingerbread stuff? Not a whole lot. Well, then I'm supposed to trust your opinion. I don't know. Dad. Dad? Yeah. He likes gingerbread stuff, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mmm. I like that a lot. I need a cup of coffee to go with that. I'll go for that Bailey and Dad for mm. ah, my coffee. Definitely going in the recipe book. Definitely you making it this holiday season. Thanks for trying to do the recipe with me. And we will see y'all in the next one. Love you. Bye.